Good morning. It is the day after Christmas, 2018. Time has a diaphanous feel. Oh, first let me say I am Jan Jorgensen at Be the Light Wednesday Morning Meditations. We do these because this diaphanous feel of time is very, very present right now because we're in a period of tremendous change for Earth. It happens in the energetic realm first, and then it is seeded down into the physical reality. And I can say with all confidence that the physical reality that we're celebrating now, Christmas celebration, everything that we did, um, the only thing that's going to move forward the way we do everything in the future is anything that holds a vibration of love. So anything you experience that had any worthwhile, uh, heartfelt of yes, and I was just talking to a colleague here, that the touchstone for her Christmas was love. And how these meaningful, poignant moments of life doesn't last forever. There are tremendous ongoing changes, and we must focus on what is good about the human condition and the traditions and rituals again that will move through and they might look different but the thread of human anything important we do is based on love because that's the only thing that is real the minute we are in a non-love competition anger fear betrayal jealousy we are in a a, a fungus a potentially growing fungus if you give it your energy and the earth herself and the people that are going to inherit and work with the new mm, parallel reality of earth will have purified themselves and learned to hold their consciousness in such a way that they know they can't afford a negative thought because it makes putrid reality so this Christmas, think about it. If you had a heartfelt, profound moment where people stopped being negative and fearful, that is the heart of why Earth was created, an experiment of love. Then beings were sent down like Christ and Buddha to let us drink what they're drinking, feel what they're feeling, so we could actually have a golden moment of love. Why do people revere Jesus Christ and Buddha? Because they exude and embody love in every moment. That's the basic truth. And our ticket, golden ticket into inheriting the new earth, I, it's, it's not some big Bible prophecy, blah, blah, blah. It's every moment you choose love, you are in a new world. And you can still be in your old house with the same old people, but when you choose love, Every single moment, it's like making a little necklace of pearls till suddenly it's seamless. And you have created a beautiful, lustrous, illuminative energy field for yourself because you use your consciousness to choose love in that moment. Even when a relative's acting what you think is goofy, and that's the most natural thing for them to do, the way their brain works and the way they've been operated, the way they've been punched around in life. So this thing of what would Jesus do or look with Jesus' eyes, it's very simply, how can I have unconditional love and let go of my judgment glasses in this moment? And Christmas is a pretty good example of how we express and hold love. So think about the moments that were most joyful and poignant you are just living out the whole reason that you showed up in this body in this lifetime. The whole reason Earth is here, it's for these little independently willed beings to choose love. Any other place in the entire universe, and there are other consciousnesses and beings in other realities, guess what? They don't get to choose. They're a little bit more like Spock. Well, we do this to make this work. On Earth, you can be dastardly bad and feel that, see the consequences, and then let that badness out. That's like Scrooge. Why do we love these movies? 
And Scrooge, he could see the consequences of his devious, fearful thinking. And at the end, brings joy. So, on this Christmas, we take a moment and reflect. The transitions that we go through. Why do you think we need to age? Why do you think people need to die? So we appreciate the moment. So we love the moment. We live in love. Your best moments are feeling in love with the partner, with the grandchild, with relatives, where you can see through them and see their shining gold heart. Love, love, love. So you, my friend, are a beacon of love. And it's nothing you had to earn. You simply have the aperture, the receivership, the structure. You are like the Eiffel Tower, but you need to use your will to press the button to show up all the sparkly lights so people can see you. They can see that you are a never-ending beacon of love. The tired, desperate world looking down, searching the streets, insustainable survival, unsustainable survival antics. Look up and see you standing there, stable, just like the Eiffel Tower. It's got a city of light. All these images are very important. Your geometric structure that your just flesh bag hangs on is like the Eiffel Tower. You are the Eiffel Tower. You're a very tall, wonderful geometric structure, much bigger than your physical body. That's why sometimes you get humming in your ears. You don't feel good. You feel a little dizzy because you're carrying this huge geometric structure. If you are here to change the earth, there's a lot more going on to you than meets the eye. Why am I saying all this? Because 2019, you have a... Sometimes I, you know, as I channel, I see the prerogative, uh, imperative. There's another P word I want to say that you chose to show up as a beacon of light. And this is the year. No faking it. No going back and forth to the pity party. Uh, the, the earth needs you because the amount of light that we are going to emanate from our lit up circuitry by 2021 will eradicate, expose, and flush out the vibration of fear on this planet. And look at what it's already done. Our president lies all the time. All the people just look down like, well, we'll pretend he's lying because I'm getting richer. Greed, predatory behavior. It is being shown because beings like you are shining that light. And when the light is so shiny, people are transparent. They start saying what they think, which can sometimes be so anti-life and anti-truth. And everyone sees it. Everyone sees the emperor has no clothes, the emperor and his base. But it's not just one leader that does it. It's so much of the co-creation on earth right now is held by the power hungry. The meek don't behave that way. The meek, which is a word that isn't really accurate, it is saying is this non-predatory behavior. The meek simply love and flow, and it is the infrastructure that regards that as weak. But let me tell you, the vibration of love and this flow of meekness trumps the day. <laughs> trumps everything. I think that's a great word. We trump the world. We trump the present president. Light wins. This is a benevolent, carefully, precisely tuned universe where things can only go so bad before they burst and change and compost themselves, right? Planets explode, black holes, things shift around. So this may seem very dark and stronghold, but it is a diaphanous timeline. And we choose the timing by our full 
cognition and recogni recognizing our ability to flip the switch of our own circuitry. How many people do you talk to in a year? That's how many people will light up. If you do a talk that is filmed, could be thousands later that watch that film. If you are one of the brave leaders that shows up or makes videos or workshops, the vibration that you imbue out bathes everyone in the room and it bathes their family when they go home. The things they write about and think about carry your vibration. So choose love over fear. Never fear going out into the world to speak and share love and truth. It might be new. It might be like everybody else is in old, ugly canoes that are sinking. Don't feel bad that your boat is sliding through the water smooth and you are holding. And they ask you, well, why aren't you sinking? I chose love. The universe always supports love. Start with yourself. Don't let those stinking, thinking, fearful sulcuses put you in a place where you're in a boat with holes in it. So these little metaphors are important. So if you have a negative thought today and you start thinking, say, the universe supports me. I'm not choosing love right now. I'm not doing my part. I need to show up doing my part. Oh, I sound like a unity minister today. But these are just the little sound bites to ignite your sense of inspiration of like, yes, I want to do this, but now we have to do the real part, the inner part. We're going to actually drop in and change the limbiscape. If there's any unconscious old vibration beliefs, I'm not good enough. Who do I think I am? Or how can I make a change? Or things are so bad. We got to turn that song off. Okay? You gotta turn that din off, that static in the field. Okay, well, I'm tired of hearing myself talk in this preparation. Let's do it. Go ahead and shut your eyes, sit up nice and straight. We take a deep breath through our nose and out through our mouth. We appreciate and acknowledge all that is. Sometimes it seems overwhelming. But remember, there is an inner storyline that is so rich and worth living. And it is the truth of life. You know when you touch upon this thread, you feel grounded and happy and radiant. We ask and intend that we now walk through a meditation that allows us to be in that space and holding that field of the love, that big, brilliant, essence light, indescribable in words, but just feel into it. You can feel it. That comes from our creator, that holds us in a stable, supported fashion, no matter what is happening on the outside. No matter what story Earth is creating in that moment, remember things change on a dime. And by holding your perfect profile of love, you're adding to the mix the envelope of an entire new flavor. We're baking a new cake on Earth, I've said it many times, and your spice, your part of the recipe or levity is needed. The more light you hold, the more buoyant, fresh, and new mixture for Earth to create a new cake and celebrate. So take a deep breath through your nose and out through your mouth, and we drop in. We ask and intend to set a sacred space. We place a whole on a balance over our entire body. We are thankful for all the previous experiences. We are now seeing the importance of honoring the earth life in a certain way, always choosing love, but taking our focus inward and focusing on the higher movie, the exact 
purpose of our bringing a new energy form through our structure, first the geometric structure of our consciousness that is then absorbed by our physical body. We reap the benefits of feeling healthy and rejuvenated and joyful as we become lit up and hold the brilliant, sustaining, joyful vibration of our true essence as change agents on earth at this time. Take a deep breath through your nose and out through your mouth. Now we still might have a little monkey mind in there. Oh my God, there's a lot to wrap around. We ask and intend to still our mind. We let that sea of waves of thoughts begin to still and calm. We very gently move from our active consciousness and we shift our physical brain waves to the zero point where we may begin to see and know with our entire body with the heart as the lens. Take your focus to your heart. Feel how easy it is to drop back in to your place of peace, groundedness, and connection with source. We ask and intend that our heart open up as a receptacle for the divine essence we are now about to receive, a little tuna. We open our crown chakra so there is a effervescent open core channel tube from our crown chakra to our heart. We ask that the creator feel the creator, feel the creator's benevolence, and love and reverence for you, like a loving parent, mother, father, God. Feel all the family of divine beings around you, all the many faces of spiritual beings that have come to earth to assist through the times. Feel that you are and know that you are a precious, adored, looked after child of the universe. We ask and intend in this moment that we empty ourselves of all the human opposites of that. The times where our parents failed us, our family, society, the people have projected their damaged egos upon us. We release all of this now and we forgive all the players. As we reside, we choose to reside in our heart safely as an emissary of the Creator's light to show a new way home. We acknowledge that we are physical human beings with personalities living out a life, but we let that pale to the remembrance, awakening to the truth of the beingness of our core, a child of the universal source of all that is. Take a deep breath, and our heart has been opening with hope and joy and anticipation. This is the biggest Christmas, the biggest gift of all. So let the Creator pour down a beautiful vibrational frequency liquid and let it hover over the top of your head in an effervescent ball of light. It is sparkly, it is full of minuscule rainbows, comets. This is 
the spirit of the living Christ within each of you. It is a vibrational profile, doesn't belong to any person, but it is a given for anyone courageous enough to let go of the earthly thinking and access and hold this vibration of pure light and love. Just feel it as if your body is a paint by number and letting this ball of light now melt over into your head, into your brain, into your neck, or any part of your body that is ready to absorb a new frequency or color is now gently receiving an opening to this recoloration of your energy and physical body now. We ask that all the levels, the emotional level, is calmed and harmonized. We ask that your physical body is peacefully stretched and opened and integrating all of these new energies. We ask that even the tightest little ball knots of thoughts of need or improprieties or disgust or whatever you are holding is teased open and released. So there are no thoughts, no resistances that you are going through your body with a fine tooth comb with these luscious, delicious aligning energies now. Take a deep breath through your nose and out through your mouth. Oh, you got to let go. No efforting. Just sit back. Now, focus on any areas within your body where you are holding tension, which represents these long-held stances of our <laughs> perceptive and reactive human realm. Just let it all be combed through, relaxed and healed now. That's it. Notice how much your body tends to want to hold on to things and just reaffirm, I am letting go. I am emptying and releasing all the vibrational myasms that no longer serve me in my full recognition of my divine role here on earth as a being, choosing love, radiating love, emanating love as a new messaging signal for the world. And if you need to picture the Eiffel Tower lighting up rung by rung, coming out of the dark, so you're letting yourself be seen. You're lighting up a whole city. You are turning on, you are flushing out and clearing all that is not light. Just keep letting go and relaxing, and we ask and intend. If there's any physical imbalance area in your body, we ask, with the help of the universal forces of correction, that as you commit to being of light and love, you need health, restoration, and ask that hopefully you will learn all the lessons. You have released all the grievances that have caused this human density and schooling to occur. We ask and intend to the deepest degree, if in this moment it is in our highest good to release this physical issue as we are choosing to embrace love, to put to bed this old, grievous, non-reality, 
thought in choosing paradigm, we choose healing, we choose wholeness, we choose a beingness that is untouchable by even our own human thoughts, infallible, indestructible. The light infrastructure of light that you are forming using your creative imagination and choosing through your will is the ultimate of the reason the ultimate expression of the reason the creator made earth and so you are choosing to be a way shower and to do it and be it now we ask and intend that this new infrastructure be strengthened grounded and hold us upright, thinking pure thoughts, holding others in complete, unconditional love and light, and allowing those on their path to have their experiences without our negative judgment or needing to engage. We are releasing the human drama from our field now. We're in a bit of a metaphor, we are Santa, bringing gifts in those twinkly bells of Christmas, not once a year, but not once a day, but every moment. We ask and intend to choose and hold this new vibrational field of the Creator in our body, in our mind, in all ways, in all days moving forward, now. Notice there is a new signaling system from the top of this Eiffel Tower, uh, about uh, 12 inches off the top of your head. And it is a brilliant signaling that is not isolated here on Earth, but it is also sending out beautiful streamers that you are connecting with other awakened people. You're connecting with other zero points in the galaxy, in the universe. Guess what? You are supported in a lattice work of divine, majestic synchronicity. And in this flow, Your imaginings and your visions are in alignment with the creators and you can bring forth beauty, love, harmony, projects, untouched by the old gotta have greed. It is done, it is done, it is done. And it's becoming easier as more people are lighting up. And do you know how you know who they are? You feel into them. And you know they're coming before you even meet them on the earth plane. You're talking to them in this satellite system all the time. And you're becoming more and more awake of how small the limited earth consciousness is. It, it is the divine communication system. And it's real. And it's bigger. And it's more, more functional and more powerful than anything you could the earth milieu, how it is now, is created as a limited, false, self-destructive model. This is why people pray. It's why they go to church, to feel into the majesty of the frequency field, the infrastructure of this consciousness of Christ connected to God. That's it. Every religion... Every person wants to be connected to the Creator. The faces change. Christ, Allah, Buddha. And we are doing it simply by using our words to guide our creative imagination. And I'm talking here because your body is galvanizing into this new form and it does take a little time. 
Let the back of your neck be healed. All that tension in your Madula Amlangata, that's where the spiritual energy comes in. Let the energy in your third eye be healed so that you can see to the degree what other people are holding, love or fear. Let your heart be softened and melt off the angers, the disappointments of how you thought things should be. Get all that weight off your shoulders of all the things you thought you should do that didn't work out. They weren't meant for you to do. They were from your limited perspective or if they were meant to happen, you weren't in your Eiffel Tower because they would have happened. In the universal flow, the universe doesn't tell you no. But it has been very, very hard up till now with few awaken streams of other people. So if you are in the pure light and floating in the world of all possibilities, how can you do that where everywhere you go is a dark door of fear? People, our social systems, the schools, the penal system, everywhere, everywhere you go is crud, barnacles, dark. But there are points of light. There are beings of light. There are even whole homes or institutions that function on the principle of love. Those are your touchstones now. Just let the world fumigate. And let those with eyes to see and ears to hear see you as a lit being with hope and function and acceptance and forgiveness in your heart at all times. Take a deep breath. Okay, we've got this now down to the, our toes. So let it flow out and let it connect to the infrastructure, the dynamics of the earth. And take a deep breath and let your whole body hold this. Again, I want to use the word galvanize. And let it all organize, orchestrate through your system, through your body, nestling in your heart. Energy is coming down, earth energy is coming up, and it is going all the way out to your crown chakra. And you are now connected, changed. And I'm going to ask you to not go to a negative thought. That'll take you right back in and it'll reseat that vibration. Make a promise to yourself to let go because it doesn't matter how deep the problem is. Bathe it with this love. Bathe it with this light. And keep those big dark monsters out of your Eiffel Tower. The old days they'd say, oh, this person's delusional. They're walking around the problems. Now we know. No, you just inject more love, inject more love, inject more love. And guess what? The game is over. The world will poke at you if they see you are carrying less than love profiles. So we ask and intend to integrate these energies, hold them powerfully in our energetic field, Create a beautiful, golden, resilient egg structure around our body. We ask and intend that we feel grounded and this is real. Believe me, it is real. And you will know and function in the world in a new way. Take a deep breath through your nose and out through your mouth. Wiggle your fingers and toes as we come back out. And in a moment, I'll turn this off and we can have a little chat. And I will see you next week, Wednesday morning at 9, Sound and Light Healing Arts, Be the Light Meditations. I am Jan Jorgensen here in Olympia, Washington. Thank you for joining us.